Hi everybody, good morning to you. It is really early morning where I am, so the video will be a little dark just for a moment, but I didn't want that to hinder the word of the Lord, the word of encouragement that I need to get to you today. I pray that everybody is doing absolutely amazing on this day. This is the day that God has made, so I want you to rejoice and I want you to be glad in this day. This is another day that God has given you to get things done. This is another day that God has given you. Thank all of you for your support here on our channel. I mean, all of your prayers, your well wishes, all of your acts of kindness. We so graciously thank all of you so much. We know God is going to do some good things for you. We know God is going to do some great things in you. You just stay hooked up. You stay hooked up to the promise. You stay connected. And don't you ever take your eyes off of that covenant connection. And the promise that God has said what he would do for you. God is so, listen family, God wants you to win. God is so committed to you winning. God is so committed to you succeeding. Even if people are not happy that you will succeed, even if people are not happy and excited for you, I want you to know that God is happy for you. I want you to know that God is committed to you. He's committed to you succeeding. He's committed to you soaring. God is committed to your life transforming. He's committed to your life evolving. God is committed to you a thousand percent. You ought to thank God for that. You know, sometimes we want people, certain individuals to be committed to us and they're not committed. Learn to be committed to you. Commit to you first. And whenever you learn to commit to you first and make yourself a priority, you're not going to apply that kind of pressure to someone else. You know, because God did not design us to be codependent on other people, other things. And he did not desire his children to look for other things to fulfill them. And to make them overall happy. You have to be happy with you. Before you can receive happiness. Before you can receive love. From somebody else. No matter what. Aspect it may come from. You got to love who you are. Love you. You can't give away what you don't have. And some people just can't give you the love. That you wanted from them. Because they couldn't. Because they didn't have it on the inside. But God is committed to you winning. He's committed to you a thousand percent. God is so committed to you. You got to have enough resolve on the inside of you whenever life hits you from every side to keep going. Build up the resolve on the inside of you. So whenever you take a, a hit, you got to keep on going. You may get knocked down a little bit. But God is going to lift you back up. Don't let things deter you in life not to keep going. No, don't have that mindset. I want you to think positive, And I want you to put one foot in front of the other one every single day that God give you to keep going. Commit to your dreams in this season. Commit to your destiny. Commit to your own purpose. Commit to your journey. Commit to you like you've never committed to you before. I want you to, if it's God's will, just every day that God give you, do something pertaining to your dream. Do something pertaining to your purpose. Do something pertaining to the life path that God has put on the inside of you to do, to walk out. Everybody's journey is not the same. We all have different journeys because we're called to something different, but we're all called to do something great. Isn't that a good thing? We're all called to do something great. We're all called to do something beneficial so i want you to keep going i want you not to even concern yourself with who didn't give you that commitment who didn't commit to your dreams when they said they were going to commit to your dreams who didn't commit to you when they promised to give you a commitment you have to know that god is committed to you everything about you god is committed everything that concerns you God is committed. He's going to help you get to where you need to be. He's going to pull you out of the situations that you're in. It seems impossible, doesn't it? Maybe it appears 
like you're not going to get out of it. Oh, but let me tell you, I'm a living testament. I'm a living testimony. God will pick you up. God will turn your life around. God will give you a do-over in your life. We all are products of second, third, and fourth chances. We all are. This is why we can't judge anybody. And this is why we shouldn't have a heart to judge anyone. This is why we can't be so quick to speak ill things against people. We can't because God loves all of us. He is committed to you. And I want to give you some assurance. I want to give you some hope. I want your confidence to be renewed in the things that you're doing today because God is going to help you get it done. God is going to help you get things done that you need to get done. He is. You have to believe that. Don't doubt that. You know, circumstances in life will do its best for you to doubt the impossible. But God is the God of impossibilities. Affirm that today, that God is the God of impossibilities. He's going to do the impossible in your life. He's going to do things that you didn't think it could do for you. When God gets through with you, people are going to know that they know that they know that there is a God above. Whenever they look at your life and whenever you open your mouth and share your testimony, you're going to give people hope. You're going to give people a reason or hope. Don't give up, family. Don't give up. Somebody needs your testament. Somebody needs your testimony. Somebody needs you. You're being prepared to go so that you can be a reason of hope for somebody else. You're going to give so many people a reason to keep going. Don't let life cause you to stop going. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. Build up your resolve on the inside of you. Build it up. You build it up by looking back over your life and how God delivered you, where God delivered you. This is how you build up that resolve on the inside, knowing that God delivered you one time. Because if God delivered you one time, I'm here to, here to tell you, he's going to deliver you again. You got to believe that. When everything is all gone, when all hope is gone, I want you to keep your faith because faith is going to allow you to make it. Your faith in God is going to allow you to succeed and to elevate in your own life. You can do it. If God did it for me, he'll do it for you. God has no respect of person. People have respect of person, but God does not. God said he reigned on the just just like he does the unjust. But listen to this after what he said that. He said, but I have a special love for those who are of the household of faith. He has a special love for you, chosen. God has a special love for you, remnant. God has a special love for his children. He'll do more for you. Isn't that amazing to hear to your ear today? So keep building. Don't stop building. If you're laughed at, keep building. If you're being mocked at, at keep building. If people are shunning you, keep building. If people want to give you the support that you know they can, keep building. Affirm that today. I am going to keep building. No matter what comes my way, let it come. I am going to keep building. God is committed to me. You got to know that you know that you know that God is committed to you. Did y'all know that? God is committed to everything about your life. Everything about your life. God is committed. He's committed to your dreams. He's committed to your business. He's committed to your marriage, your relationship, your kids. God is committed to every facet of your life, every endeavor that you have, that you embark on. I want you to know this, that God is committed to you. You know, some people will hold their commitment thinking that it would do so much detriment to you. It didn't do any detriment to you because it caused you to go within. It caused you to tap within. So now people are going to wish they had to commit it to you because what they've committed to isn't about anything. What they've committed to is a bag of bricks. What people have committed to, they're seeing today that is nothing but a burden. It's nothing but stress. They thought they would be further along by now. 
but now they realize they've set themselves back. Don't set yourself back, family, trying to gain something for somebody that's not willing to give it to you, trying to pull teeth out of something that refuses to give it to you. No, you don't have to pull a commitment out of anybody. You don't have to pull teeth out of anybody to support you. You don't have to pull love out of anyone. If they love you, they're willing to give it. You got to love you and you got to know that God loves you. You got to know that you know that you know that God is so committed to you. He's committed to every part of your life, all parts of your life, not some, but all parts of your life. God is committed to, and you are going to make it. You are going to succeed. You are going to get there. It may take you time to get there, but in the time that you're waiting, if God has you in a season of waiting, you have to grow, you have to evolve, you have to elevate. And you got to do that by transforming your mind. If your mind is not renewed, if your mind is not transformed to positive things, your whole life is going to reflect that. So just meditate on God's promise. Meditate on what he said he was going to do for you. Meditate. Brainwash your mind with the word of God. You keep telling yourself what God said in the word of God every single day. You look at yourself in the mirror, get in front of a mirror, stand in front of a mirror and speak life into your situation. Speak life into you. Speak life over you. Your words are powerful. Death and life are in the power of your tongue. You got to begin to speak positive things. And if you are doing this, stay consistent. Because sometimes we do the right thing, but we don't do it long enough. And what causes us not to do it long enough is... We look at the circumstances and how long we've been doing the right thing. And it appears as if nothing's changing. It appears that things are not getting better for you. No, things are absolutely getting better for you. You have to. This is where your faith has to kick in. This is where that resolve on the inside of you has to get pushed up a notch. God is committed to you. Don't worry. I'm telling you, don't worry. If you're going to pray, don't worry. And if you're going to worry, do not pray. And God tells you, don't be anxious for anything. Whatever you're worrying about today, stop worrying about it. That is a sin. Don't worry. Don't be anxious for anything. But God tells us through everything. He said, do it through prayer. He said, do it through supplication. He said, let every request be made known unto me. The things that you're desiring, your request that you're needing God to do for you, whatever it is, he said, let me know what that is. He knows what it is. But God wants a relationship with you. So he wants you to communicate with him. How do we build a relationship with God? How do we build that foundation? How do we really and honestly communicate to God? Through prayer. Not using big words. You know, everybody's vocabulary is different. So don't put people down if their vocabulary is higher than yours or if it's mediocre or a little bit lower than yours. God built us different. But we all communicate to God. And prayer is your direct line of communication. Whatever you, whatever you do, don't stop praying. Whatever you do, do not stop communicating to God. Let people stop talking to you. You'll be okay with that. You let people stop communicating with you. So what? Let them. You're not going to lay down and die. You're not going to give up the ghost because people will stop talking to you. Because people ignore you. It's a personal problem that people have. And that's something less that you have to get over. Don't make people ignorance your problem. Don't do that. Stay hooked up to God and you stay praying. God said, we always pray. Don't give up. Whatever you do, don't give up. I'm so excited for you. I want to give you all a shout out to my team members here on our channel. Team Nikki G, thank you all so much for what you do here every single day to help bring glory to God. Keep liking the videos. Keep liking them because... That algorithm is going to cause us to reach more people all over the world. We want to reach as many souls that are broken for God. We want people to return back to God. Go back to your first love. Do your first, first works all over again. You may fall, but God said a righteous man will fall seven times, but he'll get you back up. And you haven't truly fallen until you make a decision not to get back up. You know you can fail your way to the top before I go, family. How do you feel your way to the top? Because every time you don't make a, a better decision, you learn from that last decision. Learn from the lessons. Because whenever we learn, we grow. 
and then we're going to see good fruit in our life. Talking to God, communicating with God is simple. It's plain. It's not complicated. Just pour your heart out to God. Talk to God like you would talk to a friend. Talk to God just like that. Simple. Just pour your heart out to him today. Whatever you're going through with today, just pour your heart out to God. He wants to hear from you. He cares. He's concerned about what you're going through with. He's right there. He made you a promise. He said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. He will not. Some people have forsaken you. Some people have left you. Some people have dropped you. Some people have, so to speak, kicked you to the curb. Some people have just put you on a shelf and left you to die there. But a seed will be buried in the ground and a seed will produce. Thank God people buried you because now you're going to show them what kind of production that's going to come forth out of your life. Nothing but good fruit will come to you. Glory to God. God is going to open the windows of heaven for you. He's going to pour you out a blessing that you don't have room enough to receive. He's going to give you a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over blessing. That's what God is going to give you. That is the word of the Lord. We don't care who don't believe that. It doesn't matter how long you've been saying what God is going to do for you. You keep saying it and you keep believing it. You keep decreeing this. You keep declaring this and you close your ear gate up to all negative voices. You shut down people who are negative. Don't allow these negative thoughts to come into your head and rent free space in your head. Don't do that because if you do that, the devil is going to plant a seed in your heart. And that is your soil. You want your soil to be conducive to God's presence. You want your soil of your heart to be fertile. My goodness, I'm so excited for you. Give me your testimonies. I want to hear them. And I thank God for every seed financially that you all sow. I thank God for a thousandfold return. God's going to give you that Deuteronomy testimony. You're going to get a thousandfold over it. And whatever you're praying for when you sow financial seeds, you know, it's a blessing. Whenever you can hear the voice of God and you obey what God is telling you to do, do it, people of God. And sometimes before you give any ministry, you know, we always pray. But before you give any ministry, any individual that God has told you to bless financially, keep things to yourself. Learn to do that because people will talk you out of doing what you know God told you to do. If God told you to do anything for anybody, I don't mean just my channel. Whoever God told you to put a financial seed in their hand, you put it in the ground. You don't worry about what people think about that individual. You better do what God told you to do because you are praying for God to do something. And this is how God is going to release whatever you are believing him for through your act of obedience. You remember this every day God give you on this beautiful earth. Obedience brings the blessing of God in your life and your children and your children's children. Disobedience and rebellion. It causes us to live under a curse. And what is a curse? A curse is what empowers you to fail. I gotta go, family. We'll talk later. God bless all of you. Bye-bye.